Good morning, Suprabhat. Namaste. I hope you are doing wonderfully. I just got done with morning routine, some biofeedback, meditation, and a little cold swim back there. <laughs> cold. It's coming, the snow melt coming down from where I was camping the other day. But I was wondering if I could ask you for some support and assistance in the life change that I have going on, which is 70 days in a row, well, which is shifting to being an early morning riser, doing this by rising every day, 70 days in a row before 5 a.m. A lot of different reasons for this. This is actually an area of challenge for me for decades, really. There's, of, of the things, I've, I've, I've released alcohol several years ago, the sexual addictions and these challenges that moved through that. And those, those were things that I harbored a lot of shame and a lot of guilt about, a lot of battling myself. And, but as funny as it may seem, waking up at the time, getting up at the time that I say that I'm going to get up the night prior, that's an area that I have, still have lots and lots of shame, guilt, frustration, battle. Ah. Um, largely because it was tied to those other things, you know. Uh, especially when I was younger, so motivated, ready to get it, go doing business and all these plans and things. And, you know, what happens when you drink or you're staying up real late doing other things. Well, the next day you're hitting the snooze, not feeling so great. And I did that so many times. I've reinforced that pat mental pattern. And, um, yeah, I have, I have a lot about that. So I, I also feel that this mornings, the early mornings are super, super namaste. <laughs> <laughs> that the, the mornings are super powerful and, and super beneficial. I feel so energized when I'm up. I feel so, it's just like I started the day on just a rocking path. But, namaste. Uh, they're different energy for me. And I'm, so I'm, I'm going about this 70 days um, in a very... I, I've, I've been planning this for weeks, um, build a whole framework, I have a very granular detailed morning and evening routine, namaste, of how every little thing to, to, to keep me going, and also during these 70 days, it's my primary focus is sleep, shifting to an early riser, habit, change, timing, these are things that I've all studied, but I'm really deep diving, not allowing any other focuses to come in. Uh, so every day for several hours, going into this stuff, either reading some days or researching other days, talking with people, continuing to refine the plans. All my specific affirmations I've created that I do throughout the day, Quotes on my wall by famous early risers that are inspiring. Um, like when I get up, spray specific essential oils that wake me up. Have a whole little fun little routine. Uh, little songs that I've made. What else? The the way that I go about the alarms. Um, visualization of course in the mornings and in the evenings feeling what it feels like so being so grateful feel so awesome and also visualizing myself on August 10th because I'm on day nine right now I've, I've rocked every day but I was up camping so I haven't uh, I haven't made this until now and actually to be honest I put off making this for two reasons that I can identify um, besides the fact that I was camping <laughs> Um, one, accountability can feel uncomfortable. For years and years I've known about the importance of accountability and how powerful it is 
as just another tool. And yet, throughout my life, I would always kind of, oh, I'm not gonna do that, about all kinds of different things. And only in February, when I initially took on doing uh, 5 a.m., and I was, you know, about 50% successful over 60 days, I didn't have the framework like I have now. Um, but that was the first time I really asked for accountability and had a handful of people. And this is even more so because I'm going to be updating, just putting my time and everything every day just so it's it's there. So the way that you can help me is just by liking this or doing something so that <laughs> I have in the back of my mind every morning or every day when I update it, like... I know that if I sleep in, people know. Uh, oh, of course, I have rewards every week. Um, I just finished up a week of success, so my reward is not doing anything work-related or any sort of you know growth or anything related after 7:30. And I go to bed at 9:30. Yeah, do a meditation at night. Um, and, and so that was one reason why I haven't made this. And the other reason is because, honestly, I, I feel we have so much going on in the world. There's so much challenge and pain right now with, with corona, with um, the protests, and just in general, that I, uh, I was feeling, again, some, like, guilt of, oh me, you know, like, there's all this struggle going on and things, and I'm just, I'm saying it's a big deal that I'm trying to wake up early or something like that, and th there was that voice, but really, I don't, I don't, I don't go for that, you know, I don't, I don't believe that we should feel guilty because we're not in a terrible, painful situation right now. Or we should feel guilty because of who we are, how we were raised, where we were born, what ethnicity we were born, whatever. We can't control that. We can't control who we were created to be by God. And we can't control that. I'm in this situation right now. The, the way that I believe I can most po bring about the most positive change and positive impact is by being my true self and if I've got a bunch of things that I've put on and a bunch of stories and a bunch of negativity in my life from the years that are stopping me from being my true self then I want to release that I want to get to this healthy place so that my interactions from day to day like like with these people are positive and I'm passing up positive energy and if I'm not right in the middle of you know, the firestorm, or the war, or the hurricane, or whatever, because, well, then I'm, I'm not there right now, but that doesn't mean that I need to, or we need to feel guilty about where we are, if we're feeling very good, if we're feeling very happy, and there's sadness and pain in the world, I don't think that we should try to make ourselves feel bad or sad about that, I think that the way we heal, help heal pain is by bringing the positivity and the happiness. So my heart really is out there with, with what's going on right now. And I'm very proud and, and grateful and, and happy to see it happening. And I'm sending support here and yeah, that's it. So anyways, love you guys.